Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. As you can tell by the title, my prayer plants are dying. Um, but not all of them, just a few. And if you like watching my prayer plants content, you might have guessed already which prayer plants are struggling since the beginning of winter. Uh, they are not bouncing back at all because of the cold environment. A few weeks ago, we had some lovely weather. The spring is approaching, then suddenly it's winter again. There's party downtown, someone says that you're coming by. So, without further ado, please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell to help my channel grow, get your feet ready, and let's get in this video. So guys, if you remember, I transferred three of my prayer plants into one pot as they were struggling during the winter. Uh, their leaves were getting crispy and not looking great at all. Well, they are getting worse and worse. So here they are. Look at this. Oh, leaves. My ornata is now completely dead. My Alberti eye is not looking good at all. I think it's finally giving up. The weather is just too cold for the plants. Then as you can see, my Lansipuya is the same. The leaves are turning brown. But I think I will try to save this one. I will dissect this plant and put it in a smaller pot. But my Alberti, I, I don't know guys. I will see what I can do. It is a resilient. But at the same time, it's not looking great. I have had this for a couple of years now. And the leaves are just getting crispier. It's so painful to watch. And lastly, my magic star. Oh my god, guys. Look at it. Oh, it did great last winter, but this year it is struggling. In fact, it is dying. I tried to save it, but the stems or the trunks are continually rotting. As you can see, the leaves are curling. I have moved this so many times to find the perfect location, but there was no hope. It's just slowly dying. There's no more I can do for this magic star. I tried my best. It's just the weather is not cooperating and my magic star is dying. So let's try to dissect my Lansipuya and see what we can do. Hi guys, like this video if you like this content and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm on my way to 1k. Really appreciate it if you help me to get there. Cheers! Just hope that we're still okay You always pick me up and let me down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do, damned if we don't Damned if we give in what we want And I always pick you up and let you down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do we 
Alrighty, I think my Lancifolia has hope. I remove the leaves that are browning and here's what's left. I'm keeping my fingers crossed this plant is going to make it. I really love their foliage and I think it's stunning. It's just this nasty cold winter. It couldn't take it anymore and it's having a hard time. Last year it was a mild winter and it was perfectly fine. Okay guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I was going to throw this Alberti eye but then I found this baby shoot. I discovered this before but I didn't realize it's still here. I completely forgot about it so I think it's a sign that my Alberti eye is still trying. I decided to cut them all as the leaves are just crazy. There is no point leaving them as they were. I want my Alberti eye to recuperate if it will so let's hope this spring this will produce new shoots like this one. I will keep eye on this and hope to god it will come back to life i placed this two in my plant room along with my other plants hopefully when the spring is approaching they will perk up our windows will be replaced by double glazing berries so i'm hoping my plant room will be warmer Humidity wise, it is 60% at the moment. I have a few glass here with water, hoping it helps to increase the humidity. I will definitely update you guys later, but for now, thank you for watching. Bye! Keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't have a back, no, no, no.